Stitch Cuties, I'm Brittany. And I'm Julie. And together we're the mother-daughter duo of Stitches of Love. In this video, you are going to learn to master the Lazy Daisy, which is so great for flowers and leaves and all kinds of fun accents on your hand embroidery projects. So without further ado, that's here me. we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm using one strand of Sulky 12 White. I come up at the base of this little, oh, we're going to do this little flower here. Okay. So I'm coming up at the base of this. And to me, you can kind of tell the way your thread wants to go. So it wants to go this way. So I'm going to go for this leaf right here. Can you see it where I'm pointing? Mm -hmm. This one point over here about nine o'clock. And so then I place my needle down right next to where I came up. And I do this a little bit different than you will see in the stitch guide because they're using what I consider a sewing method. To me, when you're using this um, stick and stitch, it's a little bit harder sometimes to do a sewing method. And I find it difficult to do that with um, this stick and stitch on here. So I just basically come up where I want the end of my point is, right? To so the end of your flower. My petal and then pull. And it's going to make me a little loop. Look at that cute little loop. And then you want to come down on the outside of the loop, very close to the thread. And you just sort of tacking that loop down. So you're just doing one little stitch over that thread. And that, I can't, you all, I'm sorry. That one did not turn out very well because I can't see what I'm doing very good. I make her sit in a really weird way to get to the camera. And I'm far away from it. <laughs> You know, do it again. Show us I'm, again. I'm going to because that one just didn't turn out well. So close again to where you came out. Pull your thread down. So you're coming up and then right back down, right next to each other at the center of your flower. And then you come inside where your um, loop is going to be. So your needle, your loop is going to go around the edge of your needle. See, so you're Watch this. inside the loop. This is going to be a good one. See, and you don't want to pull it real tight because that would be, they'd be real close to each other. It wouldn't be an open loop. And then you bring your needle right back down on the opposite side of that thread because you're tacking this down much better. That's a good loop. Yeah. Now, I find when I'm doing these and, you know, you're following this pattern, it's a little bit harder to get it exactly where these are. Um, and I don't remember on this pattern, did I do a French knot in the center? I don't know, but I was thinking if you don't have your points in the center perfect, do a French knot or two to add a little accent. Or the like the center of the flower. Exactly. Now I'll show you, if you put your needle like out here where this line is, you're not going to end up with a very nice loop. So you want to be close to where you came up. Basically a needle width. Yeah. And then put your needle coming up at the end of your loop where your petal is right here. And again, on doing these, you don't have to be exactly exact. It's a flower, you know? Flowers are all unique. Look at that happy loop, though. And then you want to come down again. Anchor that petal. Boop. It's been a while since I stitched the original of this and I truly do not remember. Well, this is not a tutorial specific to this design. We just happen to be using this design to showcase lazy daisies. Okay, good. So <laughs> down close to the edge here. So if you happen to be in this club, take a look at your pattern. <laughs> it's hard for me not to look at the pattern and think what, what's going to look best on the design. But anyway, again, y'all, I'm sorry. I can't hardly see what I'm doing. Okay, there I am. Through there, there's my loop. It's going to come around. Another great loop. And I'm just going to tack it. There. Perfect. And then one more, and we shall have a little flower. I love it. And see, now I can make this come in really close down here. And when your project's done, no one will know how it was actually drawn. That is one thing I love about this being dissolvable, um, is that you're not trying to hit a specific 
line. And what's nice, a lot of times if you do have something that's printed on fabric, hopefully they give you just a starting and ending dot. Well, I and not the actual remember, loop. I can remember my mom years ago, she used to always cross stitch or embroider on pillowcases. They came pre printed. Mm -hmm. And she had to be exact on the line because that stuff did not come out. Exactly. This is very forgiving this way. So now we have our last little loop right there. Beautiful. And, you know, later, if you want, you can kind of adjust them. Adjust your little loops if you want to. You know, that my first one, I'm sorry, is a boo, is a bust. I think that your thread was twisted when you did the first one. Well, my, also my stitch is too long right there. That's what not to do. There you go. I was gonna say, if you go back and look at the first one. If you're very close, you wanna be, mm -hmm. that stitch where I took it away to, to anchor it is too far away. They should and, be right beside each and other. And this one is right close, 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 close. Actually, it looks like I improved as I went around. Um, I think that's typically how it is with stitching. Yeah. You know, you get your but, groove. Yeah, if you can hold it where you can actually see it better, that helps. <laughs> but everything's easier when you don't have a camera. <laughs> just try it. I just really want to give you an idea of how I do it. I think it's a very helpful tutorial, and hopefully you will have fun and try some lazy daisies. They're cute. They make very cute flowers. Very fun. Or little leaves, mm -hmm. like on this. Yeah, and in her hair, she has green leaves as well. Oh, yeah, there's little leaves. These extra bits are leaves. But with any design, if you decide you don't like a lazy daisy, you could do the satin stitch in this. You could fill it in. Or, or you could do a back stitch. Back stitch around it. Exactly. So have fun experimenting with the stitches, and hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, what do we want them to do? Subscribe, Subscribe. to our YouTube channel. <laughs> hopefully you'll find this and the other tutorials helpful. And... In the meantime, happy, happy stitching. stitching. <laughs>